Welcome back, everybody. This is Red Halo here, and we're playing more One Piece Treasure Cruise. Uh, we're going to go over real quickly here just what do these units do that are on the French Anniversary banner, um, as well as the rare recruits and all that stuff, um, all that jazz. We're going to go over these units real quick just to give you an idea what they do and my personal opinions on each unit and uh, the batch and all that stuff. So let's get straight on to it. Just making sure that like everything that's here, yep, we got everyone that's on here. So this French Anniversary is gonna have a batch unit of five characters, right? So it's gonna have Blackbeard, which is a dual unit legend, Int character. Uh, there's gonna be Moria, who is a Int super type legend. Um, and then Magellan, who is a quick super type legend. And then you have uh, Pizarro here, and he is going to be a Psy Rarecoot. And uh, Katarina Devon, who is Int Rarecoot. Anyway, so we're going to start with Blackbeard here. I went through this uh, tiny bit on my uh, actual Pseudofest structure video, but I want to go into it a little bit more detail here just to give you an idea as to why you probably should not be pulling for this unit, um, given the fact that I don't think they're very good. Uh, and JP, no one tends to use him. You know, it's just he's just not that great. So we're gonna talk about this real quick. Like I said earlier, he is a dual unit, so he's not a super type. Uh, when he is by himself in the int form here, right? Which I think he's int form. Yeah, he's int form all the way through. But this is the int form that you start out with, and he has his darkness power. So when you switch, you go between the devil fruits of you know, his darkness fruit and the earthquake fruit, right? So when he's got his darkness fruit, he boosts driven and powerhouse characters attack by four times, your HP by 1.75, and increases damage taken by 1.5. So it kind of, you know, alleviates the greatness of that 1.75 HP boost because you're taking more damage. You also get your uh, recovery halved, which means you're going to be healing less. And that does not affect auto heal, by the way. But uh, reduces character's special charge time by two turns at the start of the cruise next turn after receiving damage. So it's kind of the same as a real V2 Blackbeard. Um, it reduces the character's special charge time when you take damage. Uh, very, very similar. Um, and then when crew launches specials with damage reduction, threshold, or damage nullification effects, he converts that effect. So he gets rid of that event, that effect and he turns it into double driv driven and powerhouse characters attack for one turn regardless of the effect in terms of the convert effect so basically what that means is let's say there was a amazing special that gave you 99 turns of damage threshold on your side like as a buff so like damage over 3000 is drastically reduced right for 99 turns it wouldn't matter how long the amount of turns is. He still gives you the attack boost for only one turn. So it's not like you get an attack boost for 99 turns or five turns. If it's a five turn one, you would get for one turn regardless. Um, four times for Driven and Powerhouse, it's kind of, it's fine. Uh, you know, the increasing damage taken is kind of shitty. Um, and I will explain why it's that bad. Oh, once we get to the special here in a second, but I want to go through the other uh, Captain deck right here, which is basically the exact same, uh, but the change is that um, you get to reduce the enemy's HP by 10% at the start of each battle instead. Uh, what was the other effect that was in here? So when you're in the Darkness Fruit, it's the special charge time, and when you're in the Earthquake Fruit, you get 10% uh, uh, HP reducing on all the enemies. Okay. Uh, it ignores all defensive effects, defense, and normal attacks only. So that's pretty good. Uh, wait, wait a second. And non normal attacks deal one damage effect. So it doesn't go through normal attacks only? That's what it sounds like there. It's a little confusing to read. This character is just confusing in general. And then it's the exact same thing at the end. So when they're combined, though, 
it's a five times attack boost. Uh, you get rid of the increased damage taken, which is nice. You still have the 1.75 HP boost. You get the 10% uh, uh, you know, enemy reduction of health there, as well as you get the charge uh, reduced by two after uh, receiving damage. And then it's this exact same thing. You get a two times attack boost if you use one of those things. Okay. So it's, it's basically the only difference is get rid of the fact that you get increased damage taken. It's a five times attack boost and you get both effects like most dual units. Um, let's go through their switch effect real quick. So switch effect removes completely special bind and despair off of the character and chair can't change his slot including a block slot into his own type that's really good uh that is actually like a great switch effect the problem we run into is when you get your special involved here so it goes down what it's 13 turns when it's maxed out uh boost the chain multiplier by 1.0 that's really good and you'd be you know this is a good start if the captain is driven or powerhouse, extends the duration of the crew's attack or slot effects by one turn. Okay, uh, it's all right, I guess. And then uh, you become the dual unit for a varied amount, depending on how much damage you've taken. So it's minimum of three turns like all other dual units, but it can go up to eight turns if you take 50,000 damage, which remember you take additional damage because that's in his kit so you're going to be taking damage it's just how it is and even if you're being you know like careful you're still going to be taking probably enough damage to run you four to five turns most runs of you know dungeons and stuff like that which means you're going to be in the dual unit for a bunch so you know, like I was saying in my previous video, let's say the enemy has a revive mechanic where he comes back and then he special binds all your characters for five turns. He can't get rid of that with a special ability. Um, he also, you know, let's say you get despaired for a bunch and special binded. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, because most of the time, and let's be fair, when you're running two dual units, as your captains when you go into the final fight nine times out of ten you're gonna be turning your captains into the dual form to do more damage like it's just kind of like counterintuitive so not a I'm just not a fan uh, let's real quick actually I want to go through their pirate rumble stats real quick so their rumble special right um, on a 28 CT uh, targets enemies within a large range for attack two times damage targets all enemies for speed down level 5 for 20 seconds and targets two enemies with cooldown 80% or more for 100% chance of action bind that's actually really good <laughs> that's a lot of damage and they get speed down like level 5 speed down for 20 seconds is no joke um and then two enemies, when their specials are about to launch, they just get action binded for flipping sure for five seconds. So he just kind of says, nah, you're not gonna use your special. I'm gonna use my special and kill you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty flipping good. Uh, not gonna lie about that. Uh, his rumble passive ability, driven powerhouse characters, teammates, attack, up level five HP level five all enemy speed down level three very good again uh, it's kind of limited with the classes there but that's pretty something good um, he also completely invades uh, special bind and action bind which you know it's gonna be great so yeah that he's good in Pyrumble but it's just like yeah I'm gonna be pulling the character just for Pyrumble, Rumble right so let's go look at, at Gekko Mario real quick like I said earlier he's an int super type uh, he's captain effect boost driven powerhouse characters again driven powerhouse uh, by five times when slots match 4.5 otherwise you get a 1.3 HP boost and then he gives you heals uh, for every perfect 0.5 your recovery for every perfect you hit at the end of the turn and he heals the crew based on the number of enemies defeated by normal attacks 
multiplied by 50% your recovery. So basically you just don't die with Moria. Basically that's what it is. You hit your perfects, you recover a bunch, and you survive forever. Um, and a five times attack boost when slots match, I mean, that's for two classes, pretty flipping good. Um, and as you're seeing with the whole batch here, they're kind of pushing Driven and Powerhouse a little bit. And Driven's not fantastic right now, but Powerhouse is. So, like, lots of units to go through with this. Uh, let's look at their special real quick. Uh, so, it's 19 turns with uh, 6 or 13, like uh, Blackbeard. Changing all slots, not block slots, mind you, to their own type. Boost Driven, Powerhouse, character slot effects, 2.5 for one turn. Nullifies a portion of each enemy's dealt damage that exceeds 2,000 for one turn. So that's the threshold like buff on your end. Um, and after one turn, boost the type effects of normal attacks for Driven Powerhouse character 2.25 for one turn. Now remember, if you're running Blackbeard as your friend captain, uh, he's going to take that threshold buff that you get and turn it into an attack boost. So he, uh, don't run Blackbeard, pretty much. <laughs> But if you're not running Blackbeard, great, great special. You get what? You get a attack boost. I mean, a slot boost. Um, and let's say you do run Blackbeard, and you actually don't care about that threshold damage. You can get the attack boost, an orb boost, and a color fanny boost for all these classes. Not terrible, right? Uh, but Moria is just like that's just a much better captain effect. And then his super type, right? So you have to have six driven or powerhouse characters on your crew um, expect for support characters of course like normal um, and he deals 75 character attack in uh, non damage to all enemies reducing your special cooldown for the two classes by one locks your slots for one turn and changes your in character to super in not great <laughs> uh, honestly that's not that good damage that go that to all enemies doesn't go through defensive effects or anything you get special reduction for everyone and you get your crew slots locked that's basically it honestly kind of not that great oh uh, let's go through his pyro rumble real quick so his special ability right it's going to be on a 26 turn cooldown uh targets enemies with a large range for 1700 damage so it's fixed damage and targets three enemies for 100 percent chance to half stats that's that last part is really good 1700 damage is no joke either but on that high of a cooldown it's kind of like not as great but that 100 percent chance to have three enemies have their stats halved that's pretty good there's a lot of situations that that could do a lot of work on the enemy team um, and then their passive ability in type teammates HP level 5 defense up 3 for the first 30 seconds of battle self CT speed up level 3 I mean that's pretty good for it not gonna lie not bad uh, his resistance is completely evade special bind reducing damage taken from side by 30% okay that's pretty good he's got a support effect too uh, he boosts type effects of normal attacks for driven characters. Only driven characters, not powerhouse too. Only driven by 1.5 at the start of the final battle. They have to be int driven characters. But that is a really good support ability. Uh, Magellan, let's take you out for a spin, see what you got here. So Magellan is a quick super type. He boosts quick attack by 5 uh, when your HP is above 70%. Otherwise, it's a 4.5. Uh, boost other characters attack by four times. So that's really good. So basically you can run them with whatever but you're gonna be wanting to run them with quick characters pretty much um, Boost cruise HP by 1.3 reducing cruise paralysis by 10. So he's got built-in utility. That's fantastic And then uh, you get a 25% heal based on the damage that you received During that battle when you move on to the next stage. So it's like the Sanji pudding switch effect where you get damage taken and then on the next stage 25% of the damage you took you get healed back that's really good <laughs> honestly out of the three I think Magellan has the best captain ability um, let's look at this special quick we're just seeing uh, all enemies HP by 10% ignoring all defensive effects reducing crews bind and burn by three 
uh, and doubles the type effects for normal attacks for the crew for one. So that's a rainbow color affinity, by the way. That's not, doesn't say quick. Uh, then he applies poison to all enemies, which can go up to 3 million damage. But I mean, like, really, that in this day and age, you're not looking to, for poison to kill the enemy because you get the 3 million. You're looking at it to get rid of, to get through, like, resilience pretty much which is going to be really nice it's another thing you can do um and then it says here and if the enemies are poisoned when the special is launched you get a 2.5 attack boost so you get a 2.5 attack boost and a two times color affinity which are both rainbow and you get the poison and when i'm saying this and you might be asking like well no that doesn't work that way because you have to have the enemy poisoned that would be true uh, but this is actually the first legend in the game that has double special activation. So you run the special the first time, he gives them the poison, you get the boost for the color finny, and then you run the special again, and you get the attack boost. So, very good special. Let's look at his su uh, super type real quick. The activation requirement is when any of the following characters are on the crew, so Hannibal, Shiryu, Domino, Sadie, Saldeth, Bo Hancock, Sengoku, Sakazuki, Kuzan, and Borsalinos. That's kind of restricted, honestly, because there's not really all that many great Sadies or Saldeths or Shiryus or Hannibals or Dominoes that you want to use, but the Admirals and Bo Hancock, that's honestly not too bad. Uh, Sengoku has some decent rare fruits, so. Um, and then his special completely removes crew's poison all of it that's already way better than moria um heals 25 percent of the damage received that's really good um and then changes quick character super into super quick healing effect stacks with the captain abilities healing effect so you're just getting even more healing so you get like 50 percent heal again he doesn't turn slots into matching but and nothing in his kit turns slots into matching but Honestly, I do think he's the best one. Um, his support effect goes on Domino, uh, Sadie, Hannibal, Saldeth, or Shidiu. That really is not great. Um, not great. Once per quest, if support character uses a special, applies poison. That's really good. It's just too bad there's just not like that many great units that you want to put him on. All right. Well, I, again, I think Magellan's the best, personally, but you know. Well, let's look at the rare recruits right here. So Pizarro, let's take a look. Captain Effect, we're not gonna care about this. It's not, rare recruits, you're not using any Captain Effect. Um, here we go, 12 turns at max. Uh, heals crew for 7,000 HP, reducing crew's bind and attack down duration by four turns. And then you get a threshold boost that exceeds 5,000 for one turn and doubles powerhouse and driven characters slot effects for one turn. And remember, if you're running this guy with Blackbeard, the threshold buff that you get goes away. And you get a uh, attack boost. Which is going to be fine, honestly, because you're getting rid of some utility there, and you get a 2 times orb boost. So you're getting a 2.5 attack boost and a 2 times orb boost. Not bad. Well, I wish those, boot, those utilities that he gets rid of were 5 turns, but, you know. He's, he's good. He's, he's alright. You know, he's not like really good but i'd put him like a b tier rare crew and then uh uh katarina devon what do you got captain billy is gonna be bad uh reduces enemies defense up damage reduction except for threshold so defense up and damage reduction uh how many turns four turns and uh healing duration on the enemy by four turns that's a kind of a niche thing Reduces damage taken by 80%, which remember, Blackbeard's going to take away. And doubles their slot effects. Only Driven and Slasher, though. Driven and Slasher. Okay. I guess she's a Driven and Slasher unit, right? Yep. Um, okay. Support effect, not very good. Anyway, so those are going to be the characters for the new Sugo Fest that's coming out. There's also going to be Clash Marco coming out. There's going to be some uh, free-to-play units here. That are coming out with this event right here the pirate paradise which you're going to be able to get 
this unit right here, uh, which is going to be Vasco's shot. Um, his special is going to be reducing Crew's Despair and Special Bind by four turns. Reduces all enemies' threshold by four turns, and then you get a heal uh, for three turns. That's seven times your recovery, and you have damage taken for three turns. Honestly, that's a pretty good free-to-play unit. Um, and then when you get into the Chopper Man missions, because this is a point event, and you get the like orbs and all that stuff, you get this Jesus Burgess um, from this. And I wish I could click on him to tell you what he does, but... Um, He's another, you know, unit that you get free to play. So definitely run this event. Um, it's going to be good. There's going to be a lottery like I was talking about in my other video. And this um, here with the running through the new characters and the Clash Marco. Lots of events, lots of things to do. It's just kind of disappointing that the Sugo Fest isn't like great as of what we know right now, you know. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helped me out a great deal. Subscribe for more of my content in the future. And go ahead and check me out on Twitch. The link to my Twitch is going to be in the description down below. Go, go ahead and give me a follow there. And you can get notified when I go live. I've been doing a lot of Treasure Cruise stuff. And uh, other fun games and stuff like that on the channel. And I hope to see you there. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.